I'm Jane Davis, I'm a Professor of Paediatric Respirology and Experimental Medicine at Imperial College London and an Honorary Consultant Paediatrician at the Royal Brompton Hospital. So um, I've been fortunate to receive one of the SRC grants looking particularly at the problem of a bacterium called Pseudomonas aeruginosa which is extremely prevalent and problematic in patients with cystic fibrosis. I'm the mother of four-year-old twins Isabel and Alexander both of whom have cystic fibrosis. And research into Pseudomonas is it's about keeping our kids as healthy as we can for as long as we can. Cystic fibrosis is with us every day with everything that we do. So it's a bug that's everywhere in our environment, in our homes, in our laboratories and if a healthy person was to breathe in that bacterium they would just breathe it out again with no problems. But if a CF patient breathes it in it really sets up home in the lungs and it establishes itself, it becomes chronic, it causes the lungs and the airways to become very inflamed and ultimately scarred and so it's one of the really big problems in cystic fibrosis today. I, I remember the first time I got the call to say that Alex had cultured pseudomonas. Um, it was a very brief call to say the results of the swab are back, he's cultured pseudomonas, you need to bring him in tomorrow. And I said, oh, thank you very much, put the phone down and I sat on the stairs and I think I sobbed for about 10, 15 minutes straight because I felt like I'd failed as a mother. If we could develop non-invasive methods, for example, based on breath or urine or blood, that would give us an idea that that patient might be infected and would allow us to investigate them further, then we might be detecting this organism even earlier, and that gives us a much better chance of getting rid of it. We believe that by bringing a number of different people together with a variety of skills, we might actually be able to create a step change in the way we both detect and manage pseudomonas in patients with CF. I think it's a fantastic opportunity to collaborate internationally, but the main thing is that we're bringing in fresh ideas from outside cystic fibrosis, and I really hope that we can capitalize on their existing expertise, and that'll actually speed up our process of experimentation as well. The, the trust funding research into pseudomonas gives me faith that there are people out there who are working as hard as I am to try and deal and beat this disease.